Hey, I'm Del Shanzi, and we are here to continue the 304 reasons the flat top paramotor is the only unit to buy or fly right now. Uh, okay, this is page 14. Uh, here we go. We'll start out with the elastic strap secures throttle to any size hand with or without gloves or mittens instantly without need for adjustment. So you've got the flat top uh, has an elastic right here. Your hand can fit in there any size glove. It's not a big old strap you have to lock down. You can do it easily. One hand, very simple and very important. Another thing is that the elastic is fairly weak, so you can actually break this, which is critically important. Units that have a like a big Velcro or a solid strap that are really strong, that is a serious issue and it has caused catastrophic injuries. Uh, people have bashed their cage in, got the throttle cable, and it ripped their hand back into the propeller. So it's very important that this strap can break if it does get yanked hard so it comes away from your hand instead of ripping your hand back in the prop. Another thing that's happened with other units is literally people are just flying and the prop grabbed the brake toggle right out of their hand with their hand still in it. So it's important that you can get out of that throttle and of course with a flat top the prop is over six inches behind the cage so it's not going to be doing that huge huge big safety differences okay let's see elastic strap is always tight to help prevent inadvertently dropping the throttle or losing your grip so with an elastic obviously it's nice and snug and fits on nicely elastic strap is slat uh, blah, blah, blah. elastic strap uh, on throttle is slanted to the rear at the top so the side rides behind your knuckles so if you notice how i'm gripping this the elastic attaches to this side and goes back to here so that the elastic goes behind your knuckles and not in front of your knuckles. Things like that just gives you more freedom of movement. So you do have to pay attention and there's a lot of experience that goes into knowing where to attach that. Um, elastic strap is riveted on for easy replacement in case of wear or damage. So if you trash this over the years and it gets worn out, because it's just riveted on, it's very easy to drill out four rivets and pop on a new strap. Easy replacement, um, which is very, very handy. Um, ends of elastic are rolled inside themselves before riveting to uh, have an offset. So another thing is if you look at the strap, notice there's about a quarter inch gap between it and the throttle. So it's not flush against the throttle. So it makes it a lot easier to just stick your hand into the elastic instantly without having to fight for it. If it's clear flush with the plastic, it's a lot harder to get your hand in there and do that with one hand while you're flying the glider or using the other hand. So it's important that the whole throttle can be operated with just one hand. Uh, all these little pieces. Only one electrical switch for both start and kill operations for minimal maintenance and optimal reliability and safety. So the flat top has one switch. You've got up and down, double pull, double throw. So this is kind of critical because a lot of the units have a bunch of switches, as you'll notice. They'll have a switch on the top and the bottom. Some have as many as four switches on the throttle. This is really bad because what happens is you'll see new students in a pressure situation when they try and kill their motor, they start fighting and trying to figure out which switch is which. And so it's very important to have one single switch. Um, the other thing that we do is with a pull start unit, we wire both up and down as the kill. Uh, with an electric start flat top, we make up the start and down the kill. So it's very simple and easy to do with one hand and that switch is always next to that thumb. Another important thing is you don't have those two switches because if you have a switch up here, it's difficult to try it. You've got to like reposition your whole hand to get at some of those switches. And some of them even force you to use the other hand to kill the motor, which is a very bad plan. 
you need to have that switch easily and instantly accessible. So if you mess up a launch or lose control of the glider, you can get that motor killed. Or if you trip and fall down, you can get that motor uh, stopped immediately. So very important that you got that nice placement. Another cool thing with a flat top is this switch is a snap-in switch. So you can easily pop this out with a screwdriver so you can easily replace the switch. Uh, as you, you know, use it over the years, you can get grit and sand and salt water and all kinds of things in there. So if you ever need to replace the switch, it's very simple to do. It just pops back out and you add another switch. So let's see, only one switch, single switch, up for start, down for kill. For simple one finger operation with thumb, quick, easy, leaving all other fingers free operation simultaneously. Single electrical switch placed logically for easy, quick access with one finger on one hand for maximum speed in emergency kill situations without need for moving hand from grip to kill or start the motor. So basically just what I said, again, when you grip the throttle, that thumb is right there for that kill switch and you've got one switch to avoid that confusion. Many people will have several switches. Not only do they have a lot more switches to go wrong and a lot more wiring that creates more headaches, but in pressure situations, you know, it's just years of experience. We see people fighting to try and figure out what switch it is when they're flustered and in a panic trying to get the motor stopped. So very important little things like that. Uh, electrics, easy access, one finger, snap in electrical switch, easy for no tool removal from throttle housing. So we already covered that one. So that throttle is really important. That elastic, I've actually seen that happen where the, uh, with other paramotors, if you have a, uh, a Velcro strap, those can be very, very strong. And if that throttle cable gets yanked into that prop, bam, you just chopped your hands up. Very, very big issue. Another guy, actually literally just today, a guy emailed me, he got shredded in the prop on a Fly Products unit. Another, again, it's happened over a hundred times. Three more on air conception units in just the last couple of months. So people getting chopped up in props is a very serious issue. And it's incredibly important that you get a flat top only because it's the only unit that's extremely well designed to prevent those types of issues. There's just no reason for so many people to keep getting injured in all the same ways when it's such a simple thing to fix. So that was page 14 of the 304 reasons the flat top is the only paramotor competent pilots fly.